What you're seeing right now is a highly classified group taking over a dangerous criminal group. And trust us, that's just the beginning of the video. The next groups will shock you. And let's start with Delta Force. This is 1st Special Forces Operational Detachment Delta, elite special forces that are involved in counterterrorism, high-risk operations, and daring rescue missions. But don't tell anyone we told you, because the USA will deny these guys even exist. What we do know is that since Delta Force was formed in 1977 by Colonel Charles Beckwith, the group has been involved in many dangerous top-secret missions. Taking down a Somalian militia leader? Easy. Rescuing an army helicopter pilot? Easy. What else? What about Saddam Hussein? The group helped capture him in December 2003. For those of you who thought it was in the past, these guys recently took down ISIS bad guy Abu in Syria. What do you think you need to be in Delta Force? Big muscles? Maybe the fierce look? No. First, you need to be in any armed service. Then you pass brutal physical and psychological tests which consist of... Okay, no one knows what it consists of because everything is classified. But that's not the end. Then you're taught to pass brutal marksmanship and covert tradecraft. CIA tactics like dead drops, where you pass secret information to another agent without getting caught, and other espionage methods during a six-month-long course. You may think that's the most badass special group in the world. That might be true, until you hear about Russia's Alpha Group. Okay, they're terrifying. It's nothing you've heard or seen before. What they've done is the most insane fantasy of a sick person. We just can't mention it. Alpha Group was created in 1974 in response to the Black September attacks at the 1972 Munich Olympics and first gained notoriety for leading the assault on the presidential palace in Kabul during Russia's invasion of Afghanistan in 1979. But it is the group's involvement in a 1985 hostage crisis in Lebanon that earned Alpha Group the reputation of being a vicious but effective counter-terror unit. On September 20th, 1985, the Islamic Liberation Organization took hostage four Russian diplomats in Beirut. The terrorists warned Moscow would lose all four Soviet captives if their demands were not met. When the terrorists took out one of the diplomats, the time for talk was over. An Alpha Group was sent into action. What really happened is not known, but many stories say that Alpha Group took hostages of their own relatives of the terror group and the rest of the details are too gory to tell here but families of relatives received packages with you know what was in the packages since then alpha group has participated in several high publicity missions taking down terrorists insurgents and kidnappers as with other special forces around the world alpha group participates in live fire exercises and are known to shoot at each other hoping their body armor holds and shoot back and hit paper targets behind the guy that just shot at them that said alpha group shooting drills are considered one of the most dangerous in the world okay the next group might not be as deadly as the previous one, but they're well known for their brutal training. The Kaibilas are a special operations wing of the armed forces of Guatemala. Sweating and exhausted recruits jump blind from a 33-foot platform into a narrow river and march 12 miles through a grueling uphill course loaded with equipment. Okay, you might be thinking, what's the deal? A few years of training and you're okay with it. But do you know that you might be forced to eat dog and snake entrails? What about to be exposed to tear gas? We might offer something more polite. In a class of about 40 candidates, only 7 or 8 make it to the end and become Kaibiles. What about being part of Duv Devon? Duv Devon, also known as Unit 217, is the Israel Defensive Forces Elite Undercover Counterterrorism Unit. What these guys do is something straight out of some game. They're often disguised in Arab civilian clothes to infiltrate terror cells. It might sound creepy, but in fact, they're trained for it, and in 2017 alone, they conducted over 300 successful missions. And to cover that many missions in 365 days, you need to have a few squads operating independently. The training itself isn't easy, but it's nothing like eating dog entrails. It takes 18 months, and during this time you learn Krav Maga and counterterrorism. But that's not the end. 
After this, remaining candidates receive another month-long advanced inner unit counterterrorism course. When the unit is confident in the trainee's abilities as a counterterrorism operator, they begin a four-month undercover course that includes everything from learning the Arabic language and Arabic traditions and blending in with civilian camouflage. Okay, we all know SAS, the famous game. The Special Air Service is an elite unit under the British Army founded in 1941 as a regiment and later formed again as a corps in 1950. But have you ever asked yourself, what has SAS actually done? Until we go there, did you know that it's highly classified? The British government didn't make any comments due to the secrecy and sensitivity of their operation. But let's get back to their accomplishments. In the 1980s, they rescued two hostages in the 1980 Iranian Embassy Siege. On August 2, 2000, 11 men from the Royal Irish Regiment were taken hostage by Sierra Leone rebels called the West Side Boys. Some of the hostages were released, but threats were made against the lives of the rest. SAS stepped in and with the help of missiles and machine gun fire, the rebel buildings were cleared and all the remaining hostages were rescued. To successfully perform its missions, the recruits are chosen very carefully. Among 200 recruits, less than 30 finish the training. That's because you need to sit up 50 times in 2 minutes, do 60 press-ups in 2 minutes, run 1.5 miles in 10 minutes and 30 seconds. If you're okay with it, then it's an 8-mile march in 2 hours while carrying 25 pounds of equipment. Then you learn some surviving skills, some week-long escape and evasion training, and... That's it. Actually, no. We just wanted to make some pause so you can rest. Because at the end of training, there's 36 hours of resistance to interrogation. So these guys were added in Counter-Strike. And we have other guys that were featured there. GIGN is a special forces unit within the French National Gendarmerie, one of the two special police forces in France. In 1973, when most of Europe realized regular police could not handle terrorism tactics, GIGN was activated. Since then, they carried out more than 1,000 missions, freed more than 500 hostages, and arrested over 1,000 suspects. Each of the GIGN soldiers you see in service has passed four years of exemplary service, after which they passed physical, psychological, and medical requirements and that's all we know, because much of it seems to be secret. Let's move to the east part of the world. Created in 2002, the Chinese Snow Leopard Commandos are known to perform major counterterrorism missions. It has safeguarded dozens of major events, such as the Beijing Olympic Games, the Boal Forum for Asia, and China International Import Expo. But that's not the most impressive part. Their training is what makes me wonder how that's even possible. To be commandos, the recruits must complete more than 50 tasks, and training includes 200 push-ups, 200 sit-ups, 100 squats, lifting barbells 200 times, and carrying 77 pounds of gear for 6 miles, with only a 4-hour rest every day. Most recruits are 18 years old, making them the youngest special forces on the planet. And these guys are known for setting some crazy records. Lai Jidong climbed 59 feet with a rope in around 19 seconds. Zhao Jingpeng can take out his gun, remove the safety, aim, and hit the target within 1.5 seconds. And Captain Liu set the record for climbing up to a fifth floor balcony in just 6.07 seconds. Let's move even more east to Taiwan. There you'll find one of the fiercest special forces that's simply called Taiwanese Special Forces. Their training is secret. All we know is it takes just 10 weeks, so the training must be difficult. But that doesn't mean we don't have something for you. Check out the Road to Heaven, the final stage of the training. In order to become a frogman, the candidates must crawl over 165 feet of jagged and sharp coral rocks in nothing but a pair of shorts and gym shoes. It all starts with a hard fall from standing to planking position which immediately after, the recruits have to crawl through the rocks on the points of their knees and elbows while their comrades cheer them on with a I DON'T FEEL PAIN chant. The recruits must be made of stone. I would scream everything except I don't feel pain. Along the path are 10 stopping points where the recruit needs to stop and perform an exercise. And you know what's interesting? 
If an instructor isn't happy with your level of misery, they will tell you to go back and start again. So you better not mess with your instructor during the training. Then the instructors pour salt water over their wounds as a nice bonus. And finally, you're done. You've finished the course. Now you can wear this badass mask. Grazie. But wait, what about the guys on the segways? In Chinese police. Police officers in Chengdu City, China have been given segways as a greener and more efficient way to patrol the city's Chunqi Road shopping district. Now it's much easier for the police to catch shoplifters in the area, and a team of 10 officers were out in full force showing everyone their new toys as a warning that if you're going to shoplift, you might get caught. Now just imagine if those Taiwanese Marines had segways. That's all we got for now, folks. Thanks for watching.